Hello, Rodney Robinson here, and I wanted to say a big thank you to all the members of my Facebook group, Pendulum Dowsing and Energy Balancing. The contributions to the group are absolutely fantastic, and it now is just the group that I wanted it to be. Uh, growing very well too, we're now past 2,600 members, and um, at least 40 new applications to join every day. So thank you to everybody for making it such a successful group. What I want out of the group is really to encourage, support and share information to people who are using their pendulums for the highest good and the highest good of all concerned. So that may be for healing and it may be, oh my camera's just moved, uh, and it may be for changing situations for the better you know, making bad situations into into good situations, or at least bringing about the conditions which allow somebody to move, or maybe yourself to move, out of a situation which is not very pleasant into one that brings greater joy uh, in, into your life. Okay, so we've talked a lot about pendulums, different types of pendulums, and Today, I wanted to just give some of my own thoughts and musings on a particular style of pendulum, which is not the most popular pendulum in the ones that uh, people ask me about. It's the Hathor pendulum. I, I rather like the style of it. it. It's really just a very simple pendulum, the Karnak, the Osiris and the Isis. So it, it really is a beautiful pendulum in that it combines uh, beautifully those three aspects of the main styles of Egyptian pendulum. And it has the sphere on the top. Um, and I really, this style, I don't know where, where the, the name came from, but in barge pendulums that sell a very good range of pendulums, this style is called the Hathor pendulum, after the Egyptian god Hathor, goddess, sorry, Hathor. Now, <coughs> All pendulums have their own energy. They are a very important and in fact a sacred tool to the pendulumist that uses it in any serious way. And you must approach this subject with a degree of respect and um, seriousness, I would say. It's not a toy. It's not something to take lightly. It's not some kind of party trick. It's something that changes lives. And I say that with all due consideration. Uh, those uh, who have, have basically followed the, the instructions and the guidance given in my Facebook group are beginning to experience the changes that pendulum use can bring to their lives, the very positive changes and the, the healing um, aspects are very important too. And I think as energy workers we look at illness and disease as a way of guiding us towards a spiritual path or guiding us towards a way of thinking, a way of viewing life or viewing a situation in a different way. So if we look at illness and disease in that way, we can actually utilise the energy healing to make a shift, to make a shift in our consciousness that will bring healing along with it. Now, as a pendulumist, we, we want a high vibrational pendulum to do our work. And by that, as I'm sure you all who look at my videos or have seen anything about what I've written, know that that is ascertained by pendulum dancing, a chart. The chart I use is a uh, bovis chart and I have various bovis charts with different scales such as this one and the scales that you use may depend on where you are. I, I do think that this has a, a bearing on it because the, the geology of the land where you're located has a impact or an influence on the level of universal energy that you 
have around you. So that will affect the baseline reading of the of the Bovis chart. So you may need to play around with the with different charts for different ranges and test different aspects, different objects that you know have positive um, vibrations to them. Maybe you've got some that have less positive or negative vibrations, you can test them and you can get an idea. You can sort of calibrate your, your bovis values to, uh, to your own location. Okay, so uh, back to the subject in hand, the Hathor pendulum. And I, I get asked a lot, what are different pendulums, what are their uses? Well, all high vibrational pendulums can be used for manifestation and healing. And they can all be used for pendulum decrees to make a vortex to, of energy to send your intention to manifest change. But there, there, there are differences. Each pendulum has its own particular vibrations, its own particular frequencies that it contributes to the whole process. And this is why over time people who use pendulums end up with a beautiful collection of them because they realise that there are pendulums that have different nuances in their approach to a particular problem. And some find that particular pendulums have particular avenues of work so they know which pendulum to go to if they have a certain type of problem. So I'd like to illustrate this now by using the two uh, olive wood Hathor pendulums that I have in my pendula, pendulum collection at the moment, which I'll show you. Okay. Okay, they're beautiful, beautiful olive wood grain. Again, this is from a batch that I picked up from my local craftsman that are made from the heart of the olive wood tree where the most spectacular grain is obtained. I'm just trying to focus the the, uh, the camera on the grain. It's really not picking it up just how spectacular that grain is. Really, really, really beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful pendulums. And I've actually not had these long. I've just attached the cord fittings to them just now. But uh, I, I've tested them. I've got their bovis value, my bovis value, that I, they are high vibrational pendulums. I would expect these designs to be of 6 million bovis. Uh, each one of these has a different primary energetic colour. Now I will say at this juncture that the primary um, issue that you want to look for in your pendulum when you're building your collection, first and foremostly it's the vibrational value. I've mentioned a bogus chart, you can use a percentage chart and ask for the percentage level of vibration, healing vibration or universal energy, whatever you want to call it. And get um, and get get a score from that, and you, you you want a high vibration. So the next thing is the the colour, much secondary to to the first issue. And these two both have different colours. So let's let's take on each one. This one here has a lovely sort of dark grain on the top, which is which marks it out from from the other one. And this one, which actually is my favourite in terms of just the aesthetics, I love that dark, that beautiful dark swirl that it has on the sphere at the top. Its energetic colour, which I just doused, its primary colour is violet and its secondary colour is white. So this suggests to me that out of the two Hathor pendulums that I have, this one would be most, um, have the edge for as a, as a healing pendulum for healing uh, that they can both heal but but that one is if you like its speciality based on purely its color value this uh, Hathor pendulum's energetic color is negative green stroke gray flicker 
which is the most most powerful colour for manifestation. So if you want a, a pendulum for manifestation to change situations, this pendulum would have the edge over this pendulum. Of course they're both of the same design or the Hathor design. Now the next thing that I want to cover is what I do with a pendulum when I obtain it is I, I do a meditation with it and I utilise my third eye to, to see particular qualities and go deeper in to the properties of the pendulum. And I wanted to discern the particular properties inherent in the, the Hathor design. Well, certainly that's been the name allocated to this design, so I'm going with that. And I, I basically asked my guides to show me the particular Hathor, Hathor qualities of this pendulum. Now I'd read a little bit about the goddess Hathor and I, I noticed that, that it has quite a wide ranging um, attributes to it, particularly the balancing of the, of the um, divine feminine and all the qualities that go with that, but also balancing in the divine masculine, so bringing together a balance of those two qualities. I'd also read that the goddess Hathor as part, uh, that, that, that there was quite a bit of mystery surrounding the, um, the rituals um, of this particular goddess. And they, and they centred around sensuality and pleasure. So I, I was um, going into my meditation wondering what I was going to be uh, uh, facing in, in this particular meditation what kind of uh, things that I would see. Not at all what I was expecting, based on that description. Uh, I was led by uh, what, what could easily have been the image of the goddess Hathor, or it looked like um, the image of Isis, really, uh, standing outside of a doorway with a lintel, uh, taking me into a structure, it could have been a pyramidal structure, but I wasn't far enough back to see that, but I went into what was quite a, a dark, rather uh, claustrophobic tunnel with lots of hieroglyphic markings on the side. As I was following the, the figure, we came to a chamber, opened up into a large chamber, again with covered in hieroglyphics on the side of the walls. Uh, and in the centre of the, of the uh, chamber was a, was a pit, which looked rather ominous, and when I looked into the pit, there was kind of a bubbling cauldron of, of what I can only describe as black energy bubbling away there. Uh, so I stood and watched this for a little while, and I mentally asked to be shown what the particular qualities were linked to what I was seeing. And what I was told was that the, the qualities are particularly related to helping people with deep emotional spiritual imbalances uh, and particularly what came to my attention was the phrase the dark night of the soul so these kind of issues are particularly what the half hour pendulum would be very very good at healing so anybody who is uh, has particular aptitude in healing these deep emotional issues such as the dark night of the soul, deep spiritual imbalances. Uh, I don't have time to go into them now, but this is the kind of thing that, um, that, that this design, that I was told by my guides anyway, you're free to disagree, so please make your comments and we can discuss it further. Thank you for watching this video.